Hello folks, um, I'm going to be drawing today's, well, Tuesday's World of Cow Strip. I've already done a little bit uh, because it was, I reckon, a bit boring uh, to take a while. So anyway, this is what I'm doing now. This is a bit callous, this one, and I'm not even sure I can fit all, it, all of it in. It's a little cartoon strip, but it starts with a farm. I do like it to look a bit sort of like you've discovered it in a drawing book, but I think it's usually sort of a little bit mushy. Anyway, so this um, farmer kind of uh, got a sword. Uh, I always find this tricky when you, you get characters holding things checking where the thumb is um, so he has this kind of weapon like so yeah uh, <laughs> does that look like a sword or a lollipop I don't know um, but anyway um, keep going if it works out, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to, but uh, yeah, I hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, lovely on Sunday in, in sunny old England. Um, I know it's all foggy again. Pretty miser miserable. Um, so, now I've got to put that sword at the end bit, I think. Cut off the stray bits that I do not want. There we go. Uh, yeah. So we have a android-like Terminator farmer. I must be a joke in there somewhere, actually. He will farm you. The Farminator. Watch this space. I might do that one. Right, so he's got this sword and he's going like that. And on another level, I've got this cow head <laughs> on the floor. Looking a bit gormless. <sighs> yeah, and I've obviously we've got to show a bit of the torso. So that's where the sort of head was. And there's a bit of backbone. Ooh, what about a sort of throat? Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> Ooh yeah. <laughs> this one is brutal. But no cows were hurt in the uh, making of this cow tomb. Uh, oh, oh, hooves. Oh, God. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, but also I don't want to cough it up. So, there we go. Got to have a coffee. Need coffee. Torso and the head and stuff. So we have this guy here. I'm going to just save it on another level because I think I'm going to have to have that smaller. So he's doing that, and then the I'm going to have two in this little space here. So he's um. You know what? I think I'll. I'm going to cheat. Okay. I'm going to really cheat here. Uh, I think I'm allowed to. 
So we have the head there, and I think I might reuse him as well, actually. Just to keep it a bit consistent, and sa save a bit of time. Oh, that's empty. <laughs> so, we have him here. So, and uh, one of his hands he's holding this poor unfortunate cow's head. Torture porn. What an awful concept that was. Sword, don't get me wrong, I thought that was a good idea, but it's just got a bit uh, too much. Right, watched a Tony Scott film the other day. That guy has lost the urge to make a film properly. He just uses any idea, um, any sort of camera move he can slot in. It absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. He's called, he said, he used to be my one of my favourite directors. True Romance was fabulous. I watched that unstoppable the other day. Well, I didn't watch it all, but I stopped it <laughs> because it was driving me crazy. All the sort of flash zooms he had in it, and it's just every single camera angle he could think of. Where's my hand go? Um, yeah, absolute, it's just awful. I think he's trying to sort of do a born identity, but um, it don't work. He's rubbish. Right. He's throwing the horns away. Tony Scott, go back to the way you used to make films. It was much better. You were good. Um, right. So, he's throwing the horn away. Uh, please don't make a sound effect. Oh, I've entered the Canimation uh, competition. So, if you have a look at my, my entry be grateful. Um, pop! There we go. And then the next one, uh, I'm going to use the same farmer actually. Let me uh, get that bit of dirt off. I think it's quite funny when you have characters that have no emotion whatsoever. So. down. Oh no. <laughs> right, um, so this sink, yeah, so. Yeah, and basically, oh no, come on, thank you. Ooh. Let's get these little legs. I think you could probably see where I'm going with this, I don't know, is it turning up? It doesn't matter, you, you can't see where I'm going with this. Uh, drawing here, upside down, just, that's it, I, think I want it to sort of hang. Now this is a massive cheat really, don't try this at home if you have a cow, um, it won't work. Right, so, uh, ooh, this is painful. Um, yeah, I can't see the hand. Let's see the hand, where's the hand? Why did I say that? I should have put it on three. Right. There we go, just remove the line that's underneath. Uh, 
back in here because it's changing this and it's probably got seed there somewhere. Okay, so right, so these is idle and basically uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um tube of glue in his mouth. Um, yeah. Oh god, there's so many. Where did that come from? Oh no, that's the bit. Yeah, okay. He's got tube of glue in his mouth. Uh, where do you need to write glue? Like so. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I do these cartoons uh, all during the week. Uh, it's follow me on Stick Tunes. S T I K T double A N Z. Uh, and I've got a shop if you want to buy some of my posters and things. Loads of stuff in there. About a thousand, I think. Ah, <sighs> dear. Roughly, yeah, maybe. Maybe a bit less, but um, loads of different things, posters and what have you. Um, for children, uh, loads of cow jokes and stuff as well. Birthday cards. Christmas cards. Stick. That's what I want to do, sorry. Stick. S-T-I-C-K. Sticky. That's so nicely there, and I can't do it again, so I'm gonna cheat. If in if in doubt, cheat. Sticky stick. Right, so yeah, okay. I'm sort of happy with that. Um, having said that, though, I think I just need to make the sticky stick stick just put in the blobs of glue, like so. Right, let's start coloring this monster up. Hang on a sec, I've just got to get it. No. Oh. No. Too big. Um. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think, yeah. Okay, I'll colour it up like this. So I've, uh, I've cheated a bit. I've, I think I said at the beginning. Um. Because I've I've drawn the punchline already for Edward's drawing boxes and things, uh, which is far too tedious. Um, so anyway, let's start colouring this fella up. Mm, what colour should I use for that? One sec. So that line doesn't make sense. No, that's not right. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem when you just sort of draw it straight in. You don't always catch everything so no planning yeah no wrong color uh, use hand dot in all the colors poor old cow Reasonable to live. So, we'll do swelling tons. Uh, just do the brass like that. Uh, I think I've done the brass at the bottom, so I've got to copy that colour back down. I'm going to stop putting all sorts of sound effects and things uh, later. I don't think it's necessary to do it right now. You'll see the finished product when I do it. Uh, what did I do that for? Damn it. Um, Sticky boy. Okay, let's just cut 
that way. There we go. Um, I'm going in slow motion today. just a sort of hint of making it look shiny like that and there's a tag I need to get rid of <coughs> just there so I cut that off with the lasso and colour it in and a nice little brown for the hilt there we go the finishing touches later I think and colour them in there we go and that needs to be there <coughs> just like that just do it like that and there and so we're getting towards the joke I'll, I'll basically, I think I'll just skip to that because I can. I don't want to be colouring in rubbish. Basically, yeah, he's um, he's making guinea pigs. <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, I'll just. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll just make him a bit smaller. There you go. And that's the joke uh, for um, that's the joke for Tuesday. So hope you liked it. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye.